to my channel. Today I've got a Walmart spring to summer haul for you. So let's get right into it. Before I start talking about this dress, make sure you hit like and subscribe before you go. And if you need any of the information or affiliate shopping links, including my sizing, the sizes that I'm showing, all that good stuff, go down into the description box. Just click more right next to the title and everything should drop down there for you. All right, let's get into it. This first midi dress is a Sofia Vergara piece. It is 100% viscose. It is unlined, does not have pockets. I paid $34 for it, but as of today, it is showing as 28, so you may be able to get it a little less than that. And it comes in three different color or print options. Now, what I have to say about this dress is overall, I think it's a really cute dress. I think it's fun. And as my husband said when he saw me in it, oh, that's cute. It looks like a beach dress. And that's definitely what I would probably lean towards using it for. Um, the viscose is very thin, so it's just one thin layer of material. It does just slip on and off. It has a huge elastic section right here, and that's where it stretches quite a bit to get it on and off. I do have a pair of like biker shorts underneath, just so that the material doesn't kind of stick or catch on anything, but not really that I needed shapewear for it. So um, the you know flare on it is nice enough that you wouldn't have to wear a whole lot underneath it for the most part. Uh, I'll go up. It does have like a little bit of that rounded bottom on the um, in the front and on the back, so it kind of comes up on the sides. And I just think it's really cute uh, for $34, $28, whatever you pay for it. I personally feel like this is more of uh, the quality of things that I have gotten on Amazon quite a bit when I've tried to order dresses on Amazon, if that helps you at all. I did have to do a good steam on it, but it is laying well, and I think it is great for a beach trip. So you could throw a jean jacket on, grab a tote, and put some cute sandals on. So with the quickest of swap outs, just put some cute little nude heels on, or even some fun colored one if you like to do a little color blocking, and just a simple little you know purse that you need just for your bare minimum pieces in there for the evening. This is what you could do easily to pack this dress, maybe for a trip and then use it multiple ways. Before I move on to the next pieces, I wanted to quickly mention these sandals from Time and True. I purchased these last summer actually for just the lowest price. They were so great. I got my true larger size, which I do for sandals, which is a 10. So I would definitely go true to size or if you're in between size up, they are carrying them again. I just saw them online and I ended up wearing these over and over and over again. And this spring, they are the first thing that I grabbed and I pulled back out and I've already worn them several times this spring. It's just because they're comfortable. They're simple. They blend in with everything and they're just a little more dressed up than your average flip-flops. So they easily go with little dresses like this, but yet you can throw them on with some like wide leg linen pants, jean shorts, you name it. Definitely worth the money and I'm, I'm gonna put a link below. This next piece is again a Sofia Vergara top. It is 100% viscose. I purchased it in a size medium. However, looking at it, I really should have gotten a size small. So consider sizing down on this, especially if you are smaller uh, on the top half. But it is cute and I can get away with it technically. Um, the only issue I'm having with it is that it's pretty low cut here. So if I don't tug at it, then it's going to show like a regular bra. If I had a deep V bra, however, I think it would be fine. But I really overall just think the fit is a little too loose, especially for how much room it has and how much stretch it has. I think a small would be better. Now I know it's hard to see with black, but this is definitely um, a peplum top, obviously. And I'm going to try to kind of clean it up a little so you can see, but it has um, like three levels of elastic right here. So it's really nice and flattering and it pulls you in at your smallest part. And it has a really cute little peplum length. I do like it. It covers up a lot of cute stuff, but definitely gives you more of an hourglass figure. And um, for the viscose material, it's really soft. And I think because of how roomy and airy it is, you'd have no problem at all with uh, heat, especially in the middle of the summer. But again, I do like it because uh, even as it's a little bit too big, it's easy to slide a jacket or a blazer over this. So this could easily be one of those workhorse pieces 
that you can use for your uh, work environment, but then also summer or then going more into casual things. I just have it with jeans here. So yeah, I think overall this is a really good purchase. I believe it's approximately $22. Now moving into these Sofia Vergara jeans, I'm just going to say I'm confused. Uh, they are $29.50, so pretty good price point, and they are definitely like a cotton and viscose and spandex kind of blend, so they are going to have quite a bit of stretch in them. I got them what I thought was in a size 8, however, they sent me an 8 short, and I've never worn a short pair of jeans in my life. I've never ordered that, so I think that was a mistake, however, I'm glad it happened because I am wearing heels. I'm wearing uh, approximately two inch heels. These are the shorts. So um, I just want everyone to be aware of that. I believe the full inseam length on these pants is like 33 and a half inches on the regular length. And that's what I was looking for. I wanted these big bell bottoms that sort of like hung over my feet. Um, and obviously I didn't get that with the short, but I'm glad I'm showing you this because I like anywhere from like a 31 to a 33 inch inseam if I want them hanging on my longer legs. So for the rest of you, you know, I would suggest looking into getting a short if you want to try these jeans, if you are, you know, probably five, seven or below, because wow, these definitely have some length on them for that. Um, I do, let's see, getting close up, it's kind of hard with this shirt, but getting close up, um, they do have some whiskering, which I'm not a huge fan of, I just feel like it widens me personally, but if you have more of a straight figure, whiskering can be your friend and give you more of an hourglass figure, but it's not horrible, so um, I really, I think I can swing it, it's not that big of a deal, and I do love that it has a little bit of a retro feel, it does have a seam that goes all the way down the pant leg. And then it has additional seaming here for just a little bit of bell bottom design. So I love them. They do have pockets in the rear, probably not the most flattering area for me personally. Um, they are a little on the wider side for pockets, but at least they're higher. Um, yeah, and I, when I squeezed them on at first, I thought, oh boy, these are not going to cut it. I don't even think I'm going to get these on. But they did come on, they stretched well, and the more that I'm wearing them and moving them, I actually am glad I got a size 8 because I think that if I got a 10, I think it would have been baggy eventually on me with the, look, the stretch that it has on it. And I believe it's a 10 and a half inch uh, rise up here and so it does hit just at my belly button but I have a short torso so for $29.50 I think they're a really fun jean and if you're looking for bell bottoms well, I think these are definitely worth a shot this Sofia Vergara top is about $24 again I'm showing it in a size medium um, it is very stretchy, so I think I probably as well could have sized down and gotten a small in it, but I don't feel uncomfortable in this at all. I think it works really well, um, and I, it's, you know, it's holding its shape, so I think it's fine in a medium. The, um, it is, oh gosh, it's like a rayon viscose polyester blend, something along those lines on the top part of it, and the shell, I believe, is polyester 100% inside. So, um, not my favorite mix of fabrics, but it is what it is. Uh, it does have more of a thin cotton look, and, you know, obviously it is eyelet, so I did want to make you aware of the fabric so that you're not misled when you're looking at it online, because it definitely looks like a really breezy, lightweight cotton top, and it's not made out of that. Um, I, I'm really, I don't know what it is about these sleeves, though. I think they're extremely flattering. I love them. I think they're great, especially for spring and summer, for those of us who don't like to show off this part of our arm, because this part is unlined and very loose, and so no skin is touching, and you know, it's comfortable. These are not tight in the elastic area. However, they do drop in a funny way, and they hit my elbows, and so, it's not a problem, but I just want to make people aware of it if you're super sensitive to fabrics moving on you. Um, when I have it like this and I'm just talking, it's fine. But if I go to reach for something, it kind of like, let's see if I can catch it. It kind of pulls. You see that? It kind of pulls on my elbow and then pops off. And it's not a big deal, but it's just something to be aware of, um, you know, because it's not going, you're not able to hold it up here or hold it down here. So it's going to kind of move on you a little bit. You could throw your 
your summer hat on, you could grab one of these totes that I feature all the time from Walmart and just have an everyday look. But then again, easily throw this on with a skirt or slacks and take it into work. The last outfit before I get into a couple of swimwear pieces from Walmart. Again, these are Sofia Vergara pieces. I just picked up mostly that this time. She had some fun stuff to try. This top is a rayon nylon blend and I love these types of tops because they have that very a uh, thin, like lightweight gauge material that is so stretchy and soft. It's like somehow being able to wear a cozy sweater in the summertime, and it, that's the only way I can explain it. But I love these fabrics. They are just really good, really comfortable. However, once again, I think I kind of did myself a disservice. I should have sized down in all of the tops this time and gotten a small with the Sofia Vergara because I feel like it would really have fit a little bit better. But still, because of the fabric, it is very flexible. This top has so many cute little features, and again, one of those workhorse pieces. If I had a jacket over this, you wouldn't know that it was a one shoulder. I'm just wearing it with jeans and a fun hat. However, if I put it on with some black wide leg pants and some heels, then I'm changing the look altogether and I could get away with like a much nicer environment and be a lot more dressed up looking with some pretty jewelry. So good, oh man. So it has a ruffle and it's kind of hard to see, but it does have a ruffle flap that kind of crisscrosses right here and goes all the way around the back, but it doesn't bother you at all because it's not in a way that is going to hit your arm or underarm and flap there. It lays beautifully, super flattering. And then I love that it's not just like a straight across cut. It definitely has more of a design element to it. And the kicker is they put that rubber lining right here. So when it gets here, it stays where it's supposed to stay, you guys. <laughs> it has a really good length on it because it's long enough that you could probably tuck it, especially with high-waisted looks. But then I'm just wearing it out with a pair of jeans and it's just as casual and comfortable. Such a good find, $28. Next up are these lighter washed slant free hem jeans. Now these jeans, they're called that because if you can see, they have a regular hem, but it looks like it's been chopped and then it has been cut like on the diagonal. Um, personally, I kind of love it because it gives just a different look to your pants and it allows you to have that longer length in the back, but yet it shows off the top of your foot, and if you had really cute shoes on, it shows them off really well. I'm wearing these with nude heels, once again, just so you can see the length on me. They are a really good longer length, um, but with the split hem, you know, it just, it just changes everything, and it kind of is just really fun. And I traditionally stay away from lighter wash jeans as well, but I thought, why not? It's summer, let's just try something new. Again, these are an eight. And um, this rise feels a little lower to me than usual, but um, maybe like probably like a nine, nine and a half inch rise, but not a problem at all. They do have a lot of like a spandex stretch in them. So I got a size eight and they're um, fitted, but not too tight and I can sit in them. So I do like the look overall and I think they are meant to be more of a form fitting jean, but yet, you know, the longer hem and the wider leg at the bottom kind of gives them a more modern feel than your traditional skinny jean. All right, this swim top is so cute, but once again, I think I'm off on sizing. It does fit okay. I got my normal size medium, which is an eight to 10 in this swimsuit top. However, I kind of like to size up in swimsuits. Let me know in the comments below, do you size up or do you go true to size when you buy swimwear? Because I just find that I like a little bit more room and give. But again, it does fit okay. Um, I just have it paired with these adorable pants. Now these pants are not from Walmart. These are from Aerie and they are gorgeous. <laughs> um, I'll leave a link to them below and I might do an Aerie haul pretty soon, but I love these. They're great for swimwear. But I just wanted to show this swim top because 
What I like to do to extend my swimwear is I like to just get one or two really good pair of solid black bottoms and you can get them in whatever works for you and then buy more tops and then that way you know it's kind of one of those situations where you look like you're wearing multiple swimsuits but it's just swapping out tops. Uh, this one even though it is like a bikini top it's um, really interesting and that's why I like it. It has this really cool detail. This is kind of like a um, acrylic or plastic and it's a little bit brown so it gives a little bit of tone and it's kind of hard to see but this is a little bit of a textured fabric so it's not just that smooth shiny fabric and I love the look of it and the back does have that same kind of crisscross going on um, forgive the tan lines and lack of tan but that's what it is right now it also just wanted to let you know comes with an extra strap so especially if you are maybe wanting to go snorkeling or you know kind of really doing some active swimming and you don't want this to slide down for any reason then you can slip this little strap on and just keep your swimsuit in place for the time being or if it just gets annoying or slides down on you but what I've been wearing this for about five ten minutes and it hasn't slid down on me at all so overall I think it's really cute this is definitely removable by the way let me see if I can slip it off real quick yeah so it is removable if you don't want it at all and you just want it to stay smooth but I had it tucked in and it was fine um, really great and it's like $20.98 so really good way to just kind of keep up with the trends and just add to your swimwear without paying like a hundred dollars for a brand new swimsuit this is a swimsuit it is a one-piece very conservatively cut swimsuit uh, it's time and true brand and it's about $26.98 so about $27 I probably should have sized up again. I got the medium eight to 10. I think it would have been more comfortable had I gotten the large. And um, I feel like because it's so conservatively cut, it's cutting into my legs quite a bit. So I think the larger size would have mitigated that a little bit. But on the good side, <laughs> this is pretty much exactly what I look for in a swimsuit because I'm wearing it with just a cute little uh, Godet skirt that I got at Loft uh, last season, but they always come in uh, and out of season. So I'll link any that are available below because these skirts, I know I'm sidetracking, but these skirts are kind of real workhorses as well because you can wear them to work. You can wear them casually with tennis shoes, but if you're packing them for a day trip or for a weekend vacation, you can use this to dress up and go places, but also as a swimsuit cover up because they just slide on and off. So, okay, let's get back to the swimsuit. <laughs> but along those lines, I look for swimsuits that coordinate with skirts like this. So that if I throw a jean jacket on or put my hat on and grab my purse, I look like I'm actually wearing a cute top to go grab lunch or if I have to run into the grocery store real quick or whatever. And I love the shape on this. It's very cute. It's got kind of a deeper V, but nothing, I mean, you know, it's, pretty conservative and pretty conservative and I love that it has the wider little ruffle strap because it just adds just a little bit of flounce and fun here and then that's what kind of to me makes it look like a fitted tank top the back is very traditional it has the adjustable straps um, the other thing I'm going to say about this is I tend to buy uh, swimsuits maybe from Nordstrom and other places and um, the quality of this fabric is very odd to me it looks like a very traditional kind of shiny black smooth swimsuit, but the inside is not very comfortable. The inside has a different texture to it and it's a little almost scratchy. And if it's going to be this tight and against most parts of your body, you probably do not want that. So I'm going to say proceed with caution with these swimsuits and definitely size up. However, if you're just in need of a really basic, cute, go-to uh, swimsuit, this definitely could fit the bill as long as you get the right size. And uh, maybe if it's looser, it won't quite feel so uncomfortable fabric-wise. But uh, again, at $26, I just wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of what that is and what my opinion was on these swimsuits. I wanted to quickly mention this little No Boundaries Plastic Square Tote. 
This is not what I thought I was ordering, so I thought I would definitely put it in the haul to let everybody know in case you are looking at something like this. I really thought it was going to be a much larger square tote that was very lightweight that I could use maybe going to the beach or whatnot. Because it is a true plastic one, I thought, okay, we can store beach things in it. I can hose it out. It has holes in it so that it can air out and dry. However, this is not the large tote I thought I was. it was. It is very small. I don't know the type of plastic it's made out of. It literally just says man-made materials. And although it's very, very cute, and I was considering keeping it anyway, it is so extremely heavy on its own without anything in it. And although I was able to fit my wallet, a little small bag that I can carry some goodies in, my phone and my keys, technically it all fit in there. But this bag, I cannot express to you how heavy it is. I actually compared it to this large tote that I love and I'm always talking about from Walmart. I want to say this is almost heavier and this tote is quite frankly huge and it also has a couple of other pieces that come with it so for $16.98 I mean if you're really stuck on having a cute little handbag that's made out of plastic and it's reminiscent of being an 80s kid then you know $17 it is what it is but I just wanted to let you know about how heavy it is because this is something that I would honestly be uncomfortable carrying for more than like five minutes it is the same price point, $26.98. It's the same makeup of material, which is like a, a nylon spandex blend on the outside and recycled polyester on the inside. So that may have been the issue with the last swimsuit that I just showed. However, this one, oddly enough, feels a little bit more comfortable. It doesn't quite have the itch that the other one does. And this one is different in that I feel like it's one of those swimsuits that they have designed to be more flattering on your body and kind of cinch you in and all the right places and all that. So it kind of almost feels like a look for less of these higher end swimsuits that do that. Um, I love the back of this one. I have to say the back is so unique. It has just a really different look to it. And of course it has a little bit more of a deeper V and um, these sides are kind of a wide set strap with a little bit of like a pinched in detail here. Uh, it does come down a little low on the sides, but I like that element because I feel like if you're looking at the side, it just, it offers a little more than your traditional swimsuit that just kind of cuts across. It again is uh, very much on the conservative cut. So it does cover full coverage. I'm going to call it on the back and um, all the way down on the front as well. It's hitting where my legs, you know, meet the rest of my body. It's hitting all the way down there. There's no cutting in or cutting up. Um, could I have sized up on this one? Possibly. Um, but however, I don't know because of my pear shape, it might be a little loose here if I sized up on this one. Um, but I also have a very short torso. So for everyone that has a more regular body type, I would definitely say probably size up. This is a medium. Um, if you're similar to my size, just size up one, maybe to a large, but really good. And again, I know it's black and it's hard to see, but I like a flattering swimsuit. <laughs> it has that extra material right here that provides a little bit of ruching that goes all the way down. And that is just so key for kind of being really flattering in your stomach area because the under layer sucks everything in and then the outer layer just has that little slimming effect on it. So I kind of love this swimsuit. I think it's great. I, I do want to try the size large in it. Um, but overall, I think the fit on this part is really good. It just fits me a little tight here because I have wider hips and legs. Uh, so that's where I would want to see if that uh, shifted any at all with sizing. So I hope this is helpful as uh, swimsuits are always you know, very personal and very hard to gauge because of our body shapes and what we're comfortable showing. But um, I think this one would definitely be probably at the top of my list of the other two that I just showed. In bringing back the 
Turquoise Hanger Award. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I had started earlier in the year by picking one item from each haul just to say that was the standout piece. And wouldn't you know, I forgot to do it for the last couple of hauls. And this morning I saw my hanger and thought, well, I better do that, right? <laughs> so I think today's Turquoise Hanger Award, and I'm going to hold it to the side so you can see it, is the one shoulder little top with the ribbing. I think overall this is the standout piece because I think it's what I would reach for the most. And I think I'd get the most use out of it in my particular wardrobe, being able to dress it up, dress it down make a monochrome piece, throw on things on top of it. I just love the construction of it. I love how unique it is. So overall, this was the big winner for me today. Overall though, we did have some really fun pieces and I love shopping Sofia Vergara's pieces. And then of course, Time and True always has staple pieces and a lot of fun looks for less. So let me know in the comments below, are you shopping Walmart this season? Was there anything in particular that I should be looking for that I haven't found yet? I'd love to know in the comments below. All right, thanks again. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you soon.